WJCL 22 News investigates a canine deputy in Hampton County left outside in the bitter cold last Christmas Eve. The dog died later that day, and since then, our Andy Cole has been asking the tough questions to try to figure out what went wrong. He joins us now live in the studio tonight with the story. Andy, tell us, what did you discover? Shannon, we first found out about the canine deputy's death thanks to a tip in late December. We later learned there was never an investigation into the dog's death, nor did the sheriff's office tell the public about what happened until now. December 24th, 2022, Christmas Eve in Hampton County, South Carolina. While most families are staying inside, sheriff's office canine Levi was alone outside in this unheated kennel. And I checked the, uh, the weather on that day and it was like, uh, I think it was like 30 or 31 degrees that day. Our meteorologists tell us temperatures plunged to as low as 13 degrees that day. They came out here twice on Christmas Eve to check on the dog and the second time they came, the dog was dead in the kennels. And I asked about the barrier and that's when they told me that they buried the dog. Without delay and without an investigation, Sheriff Russell says canine deputy Levi was unceremoniously buried here on a property in Allendale, the next county over. No public statement was ever made. WJCL 22 News learned about what happened from a tip. Why talk to me about this now? I am going to be open and honest with you. I, and I'm not going to lie. I have been trying to avoid this because I was hurt by it. But at some point, the citizen need to know what happened. This, this happened during the prior administration. It didn't happen on my watch. You say it wasn't under your watch, and you're right. You weren't sheriff at the time, but you were a captain in yes, that sir. administration. Do you take any responsibility for what happened at Canaan? I was Levi? not notified during that time when um, Levi died. Sheriff Russell tells us he didn't know about it until January 3rd, 10 days after the incident and the first business day after we filed our first Freedom of Information Act request. After waiting 10 days, Sheriff Russell told us they had lost our request, so we refiled and waited. It wasn't until March when we got our lawyers involved that deputies responded with this one-page incident report. In it, deputies write that they checked on the dog for a second time due to cold weather, and when they found canine deputy Levi lying under his kennel, the deputy wrote that did not seem right to him. The deputy then called several top sheriff's officials, including the then sheriff T.C. Smalls, who told them to find a place to properly bury the canine deputy. They settled on an ex-deputy's land, which Sheriff Russell confirmed is in Allendale County. When I found out about it, the dog had already been buried on, on, on someone else's property. I've always questioned that too. If you're questioning it, then why not investigate? I have to take the officer word on that. He said that he, you know, checked on the dog that morning. The dog was fine. He came back late on that afternoon and the dog was dead and the dog was not a young dog. The price doesn't matter whenever it comes to an eating, breathing, living animal. Kyle Briley has been a canine officer for nearly a decade and founded the Georgia Police Canine Foundation, which helps police departments across the state provide top notch services for their canines. The foundation says the dog and training can cost as much as 20 grand. There are also necessary accessories that tack on another $10,000. Okay, girl. Oh. Corporal Briley says he's never heard of a canine death treated like this. Typically what happens is that there's either an internal affairs investigation or an outside agency comes in and does some type of review or an assessment or investigation into making sure that everything went as what was stated. In Briley's agency, if dogs are left outside, they're checked on twice an hour. In Hampton County, Sheriff Russell says he implemented a new policy, checking on the dogs twice a day. We would probably want to have a little bit of a higher standard than that. And then within the Statesboro Police Department, that would I can tell you that wouldn't be acceptable. Have you had any sort of conversation with Sheriff Smalls about what happened to try and get to the bottom of this? No, sir, I didn't. But we did. From 2007 until this January, Thomas T.C. Smalls was the Hampton County Sheriff. When we spoke to him on the phone in July, Smalls told us that he didn't remember what took place. Our conversation didn't go much further. I ain't answering no more questions because I don't have no information before me. Do you think what happened to K-9 Levi was right? I don't think it was right because the dog should have had a funeral. The dog should have been rewarded for his services. 
In June, Hampton County deputies held a black tie event to raise money for their canine unit. The sheriff said they were raising money for a climate controlled kennel for the dogs. Deputies didn't get back to us to tell us how much they raised until today. Three months later, they told us they only raised $980. Well, Andy, tell us, the, why did it take so long to get answers? I wish I could tell you a definitive answer there, but the sheriff tells me that the biggest thing was TC Smalls had left office in January. We had already filed our initial FOIA request, Freedom of Information Act requests, uh, and that it simply got lost in the confusion of switching over. Still not right, but that's what he says happened. Mm. And a great interview in terms of holding someone accountable, but let's take it to the next step. Is someone on his department, are they going to be disciplined? Are they going to be fired? Are they going to be suspended? Because if not, then really what? I asked that question of Sheriff Russell. He tells us no, in fact, they aren't disciplining those deputies, uh, but they did say that they're changing their policies, as we heard. They're now checking on the dogs twice a day, but it doesn't bring back canine Levi. No, it doesn't hold the people responsible for this happening. No, sir. All right, Andy, thanks so much. Good Thank reporting. You.